Power Talk. Brought to you by Digicel. Drive your dream with Digicel. You can win a brand new Benz. Put credit on your phone and call your friends and tell them, say. Thanks for joining us for another Religious Hard Talk. I'm Ian Boyne. Muta Baruka, the controversial one, the cutting edge one, the one who has been a thorn in the side of Christians for many years on his late night talk show. He has ridiculed Christianity. He has attacked Christianity mercilessly, rejecting the Bible, rejecting all the sacred tenets of Christianity, rejecting all the notions about the divinity of Christ's virgin birth. He has carried on a ceaseless apologetic against Christianity and for Rastafari. But I have on several occasions questioned his authenticity as a Rastafarian. On a recent program, I asked three of his Rastafarian brethren to comment on my view that Muta is no Rastafarian. Well, Muta was a bit incensed at that and what he sees as my persistent questioning of his authenticity and devoted the entire four hours of his cutting edge program the following Wednesday to a critique of my position and an explanation of his. It was a fine exposition of his views on Rastafari. Well, Muta has accepted my invitation to be on with me, to sit with me man to man and for us to deal with this issue of Rastafari, for me to raise questions about his apologetic against Christianity. This is going to be the definitive interview on Rastafari with Muta Baruka. I have some questions yeah, for him, and he has some answers hopefully for me. Muta Baruka, yes, uh, but well, glad you I, come face the man. You owe me remarks, you know, run typical of your journalistic <laughs> approach. <laughs> great to be, you know, I, you know, I'm a great tongue. Um, Fan of your pro every night time no, no, I, I, I am listening, listening. Uh, no, to listen. you. Yeah. I stay up to you, stay up with you until two o'clock. Yeah. And I must say you are doing an important thing in communications. You're exposing the Jamaican people to a wide variety of expressions. And a lot of people who listen to you don't realize that a number of the ideas that you're putting forward are really cutting edge ideas in the academy. A lot of your arguments about the Bible, your questioning of Christianity, your questioning of the supernatural reflects, many people might not know this, reflects the best thinking, the, the most sophisticated thinking among academicians and among the professors in the religious studies um, department. And you, you, you have played a number of documentaries on the program exposing people to a different, to a wide variety yeah, of views, views and so on. Yeah. And really important. So you're really doing important work. And what you're showing and your appreciative listeners call in and, and, and mention to you on many occasions. You're showing that the Jamaican people, there are lots of people who are interested in serious discussion. It's not just the, the reary and the excitement and yeah, entertainment yeah. people are interested in. And I'm fine now that a lot of Christians listen to me. You know how many Christians are listening to you now? They are, you know, it's like well, that's good. they are praying for me. <laughs> <laughs> they are praying for yeah. me. I give thanks. Muta, why are you born the Bible? Why are you born God? All right. The, you, you see, now you start out the premise. No, we're wrong. We say me born. The no, wait, but you said that, you know. My, no, my, listen my, to me now. When you reply to me, you know. You yeah, said me you born. You and born one. I said, but me born God. Me born yeah, the Bible. No, wait, God. Me talk the Bible. No. Yeah, the Bible. Bible is a book, you know, with different things inside. It's Sixty-six books. But it's not inspired word of God. No, it's man in a quest for understand himself and his surrounding mm -hmm. environment, politically, socially, religiously. Him come up with these. And God's words books. to him. Well, I don't know about no God word because I don't know what language God talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, so I don't know. God inspire man is like saying Bob Marley was inspired by God, or Luciana <laughs> was inspired by God. When I know, say, Luciana within himself and in consciousness awaken to certain things, mm -hmm. and let him write about it. I'm a poet. I don't have no inspiration coming from God. I know inspiration come from 
what I see. That's what you mean. What I understand. So the Bible is just it's just man's attempt it's, it's man to understand himself. Uh, right. Especially in the context of him, his, him, him environment where he yeah, is yeah, at the yeah. time. Him write about him situation and what him hope to happen so, in the situation. And the, the Bible you see Muta has held back a lot of people. Well, if the Bible was such a great book in the context where people say it is, why is it that the Bible is the most divisive book when interpreted by different people? Because right now there's no other book in the world mm. that has caused so much divisiveness like the Bible because of trying to interpret what men were saying two, three, four thousand years ago. And I'm asking, why is it important to interpret a man four thousand years ago and put it in your context now? Like say it's just it's, it's you have to just take like you're taking history and put it now and without even understanding the context in which mm. the thing was written. Why was the man right? But in other things? ways, how, how the Bible hold us back as black people? In, in some practical in ways. Yeah, man, tell well, us. Well, it's a serious thing now because when I was going to school, we never knew say Egypt was in Africa. That's the first thing. Egypt so, heaven. Yeah, so we yeah. never get an understanding. So most of the things them historically, the places, geographically, was mm -hmm. happening in the Bible, mm -hmm. was in Africa. So that again now wipe out our idea that we have a history. Because our history is supposed to start as slavery. We never have a history in the Bible. Now we come realize, say, but wait, Egypt, Ethiopia, and them places, there is biblical places. So, how come a man and tell you now, say, boy, right now, Charlton is, is, is Moses, and, and Yulbrina is fear and all these things. So, we have to really wipe out that our consciousness. Yeah, in coming now, we're not yeah. in coming to the New Testament, what I'm calling the New Testament. Them give you a man named Jesus Christ who never, you know, them talk about sex. Mm -hmm. Sex is supposed to be. The thing that every person do on earth to reproduce. Jesus Christ never have the taint mm -hmm. of this so called sin. No, if Jesus Christ is the epitome and the person that I am supposed to Humanity. become, mm -hmm. and he never have sex, and he do have, he do have the, the, connect, the genes connection to the yeah, so called yeah. Adam and Eve. His mother was a virgin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he do connect it to Adam and Eve, who then came with the first sin. If Adam and Eve, I am genetically linked to Adam and Eve. Mm -hmm. Therefore, I am coming with a baggage. Jesus Christ do have that baggage there. So when a man look at me and say, why can't I? I must live like Jesus Christ. I see your point. He really put a task to me, Good, right? which I is really, it's like, a, it's like a rabbit around on a carrot and you have push sense. the carrot in front of him, elusive. And that is really an illusion in itself. And I think that is the biggest problem right now, that people is looking on a so-called individual that might never have existed, Jesus and might never have existed. Well, we don't know. We don't know if Jesus Yashua. because there was no man in that history named Jesus. Well, yeah, sure. Yeah. But there's no certainty that, that he existed. All right. There's no so not only the certainty, but the, the man Yahshua is different from the man Jesus in the Bible. Yeah. No, we're not talking about the name now, you know. But, no, but, no, it's no, no. Jesus. The, no, 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 I'm not talking about no Jesus. I, know, I, know, I, know. I said the attributes. Mm -hmm. The attribute that is given to the man in the Bible. There's no historical um reality that can substantiate that this man, for instance, a man feed 5,000 people with four fish and three barley loaves, and I'm have 12 baskets left. <laughs> and I you, must believe that, you, yeah. historically. Yeah. No, man, that is two people who want to believe. And I heard it. you mention a man I talk to one million people in Egypt. Moses, and I tell Moses him one stand night up in front of one, and him have a microphone, <laughs> and one million people hear him at the same time, and move at the same time. And I must believe that. No, I am seeing that this is a, impediment and against all the, all the, this the is an impediment rainbow. against man me laugh, me. realizing himself uh -huh. developing him true potential as a divine being in earth because man is really a divine being in earth there's no entity outside of himself that is signaling him to this energy so we are the greatest that exists and nothing beyond us it's not that nothing is beyond no us. sorry there's no being beyond us no no, no supernatural being. No, there's no supernatural being. The only supernatural being is what man created in him consciousness. In mind. Yes. So God, so is, God a, is a is a figment of our man. God, we, we make God in our image. God was created by man, and then man, yeah, yeah. man created by God, <laughs> yeah, yeah. and God reciprocate and create man. Mm. This is an African retention that if there was no man, there would be any concept of God. Mm -hmm. So the idea of a first cause is ridiculous because. If it's in front of me, if I had say cars, mm -hmm. there must have been a cause for the cars. Mm -hmm. And I am saying that there is no beginning, then there is no end. Mm -hmm. Life and death 
life death death is not the end of life because life cannot die but entities die yes yes so you accept uh, macro evolution you think that we we, we evolved as human beings I, we didn't have a divine uh, any supernatural origin then no i don't think we have no supernatural, no supernatural origin. origin i don't think we have supernatural Muta Baruka talking to us about his concept of rastafari i have accused them of not being a rastafarian i will put certain questions to him let us see how he answers this is religious hard talk religious hard talk Brought to you by Digicel. Drive your dream with Digicel. You can win a brand new Benz. Put credit on your phone and call your friends and tell them, say. Welcome back to Religious Hard Talk. We are looking again at the matter of Rastafarianism. And we have with us one of the leading and one of the most well known exponents of Rastafari, Dub Poet and Rastafarian philosopher Muta Baruka. So we're talking about the Bible and the adequacies of the Bible. How yeah, all right. I was talking about the idea of Jesus Christ. Yes. Who was not born in sin and was not shaping in yes. anything. But I am supposed to now live like this man. Yeah, yeah. If this man did not have the taint of sexual connection, that means I'm a different man. And it, if him have these attributes, how can I have the same attribute when he was not coming? It is more. But he was in the flesh. And the Christian said was no. In it's not. It's not a of And he was flesh. tempted. But he was. All but points. it's not sex bring him. Yeah. And this is the sex. What the sex that, why would that make such a decisive difference? Tell me. The you is a Christian. That, the fact that he never. No, but you is a Christian. Born as a result of sexual activity. You is a Christian. You must tell me I don't because see what that, what that, I don't see it neither. No. I, I, what difference that would make? No, in it's terms the Christian. Of his being like us. It's the Christian must tell her I don't believe in Jesus Christ. The Christian must tell her what makes the difference when him don't ban of Christ of sex. Mm. Not make the difference when him if him ban. No, that is to say in the, in the Christian understanding that is coming to the earth was of divine origin. In other words, but him come he was to a not woman. a He came through a woman. Yeah. But he pre-existed. He existed before. He was in heaven Look with here, the Father. Him come through a woman. Yes. And I am saying to for a man to come through a woman. She did have a connection with a, with a man. Mm. But Jesus Christ's mother did not have a connection with a man. Yeah, so that makes him different from me and you. Yeah, man, yeah, man. He's different so if he's different from you and, me and you, his genetic connection different with Adam way. and Eve yeah. is not the same like me. Because I am already, I, I, my DNA already is embedded in the sin mm. of Adam and Eve. Yeah, and the Christian, Orthodox Christian teaching is that he could not sin. Yeah, well, Jesus Christ, yeah. well, him can't sin because he do have the genetic yeah, yeah, connection yeah. with Adam and, 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 and I see your point. Well, if he do have the connection with Adam okay, and Eve, that, I cannot good, use him. As an example. As an example. That's a good point. It's just simple that. that I have to use a man who did born like same you. like me and do the same thing like, like you and rise up out of that thing. I that I can say. But look how that man was a thief and that, look how he become that. that look how that man was a that and he become that's that. That's not a foolish idea. That is what I have talked about. Uh, and there are some Christians, there are in the minority, who believe that Jesus could have sinned and that he inherited a, a flesh that was fallen so um there are those few people but i agree that the vast majority of christians well, that don't is believe where, that, that is what most jamaican people tell you that, is that jesus christ never born after yeah, sin and yeah, never shaping or iniquity yeah yeah but in in what other ways muta have you seen the bible oh you said the bible wreck people life much of people life Oh, the Bible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in my other ways. Is that the Bible wreck people's life? You know? It's the interpretation of it. You see, I'll cut in the song. the Bible in a way. Because you see, religion, religion supposed to help people. Yeah. But when we look at now, the this book, you see this book? Man has been able to draw different things from this single book. Yes. And become a different thing from man. So most of the war that has been fought in the world today, Western world, it, it has been fought with men who believe in this book. The greatest atrocity that has ever been done to man is slavery. And this was brought on by men who believe in this book. The war that is going on right now in Iraq and these places is created by men who believe in this book. Mm -hmm. No, it's, it's an argument for tell us about right now. It's really not the book and all these things. Mm -hmm. But let us suppose that the book was not there. <laughs> Because you remember, you remember John Lennon have a thing about imagine. Imagine, imagine there was, was no, no heaven. heaven. Imagine there was no, no heaven. You can imagine if there was no Bible. It's true. 
Because the Jews and the Arabs are fighting over Jerusalem. Yes, because there of something that was said in the Bible. Yeah, yeah. It's in the Bible, them get this argument from Precisely. Them, that Abraham, Absolutely. Isaac, given, and Jacob and all this land. Yeah, and yeah. So yeah, they might fight because of some it's connection yes. with so, the so called God that yeah. they create. Yeah. In a political situation. Yes, yes, yes. So is that we really are fighting against? Is that we so are the fight? world will be a better place without the Bible? I am seeing, I am feeling that. I am feeling that the world would be a better, better place, place without religion too. Without religion? Yes, yes. Because the search for self does not lie in a supernatural connection with any being let, let that is outside you, of yourself. Let me ask you pointedly, Muta. Do you see Haile Selassie as God? Haile and how can you be a Rasta man right, and you accept Selassie? Yeah. as God? You see, God, God is a derogative term in Afghan language, all right? You know? So you have most of I and I don't use the term God. Because when I say God, if I tell you Silas is God, you know the fish of ask me say, is I to create the earth? Yeah, I know. Is I to create I know. So I in know. order not to All get right. into that concept, I am saying no, I don't use the word God. All right. Because, I the, con All right. because the concept of God it's that is given to us cannot fit Eilis in okay. a my interpretation. Let me ask you. So we don't know. You see, supernatural, God is a supernatural being. Mm -hmm. Ailis to I is not a supernatural being. Ailis Lassi is, is he a alive natural. now? Is he alive now? I don't know. I don't know. Take. It's not important to me if he's alive no, or I'm no, dead. No. It's not important to me. If Christianity don't tell me, right. wait, wait there, wait there. The Ailis, wait no man. Ailis Lassi is I in response I to slavery and colonialism come up with this idea. When I say I know, we're talking about like Leonard Owell and the man who come before I. The idea of Ile Selassie as a redeemer was not necessarily in the context of Jesus Christ coming back. It is the people who was Christian minded come into this idea and started to justify their oh. understanding of Ile Selassie oh, so after with that time, this Jesus Christ who was oh, given to them. So they were not the original Rasta. You're saying the, 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 the Rasta original no. Leonard Owell man. Rasta the, man. The, the Leonard Owell. Leonard Owell. Rasta, yeah. Let me talk about Leonard, Leonard Owell. Owell. Leonard Owell was Rasta responding Rasta. to colonialism yes. and slavery. Yes. When Marcus Garvey said, if the white man yeah. see God through him, he, 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 Isaac, Jacob, and Jacob, yes. make him do it. Yes. If the Jews want to see God through that, make him do it. But we must see God through our own spectacle through Ethiopia. Yes. All right. So the question is asked, where's the black man king? Yeah, where's the black man God? That's right. Mark, um, Leonard Owell is responding to this in a political sense by saying, in 1930, yeah. it ushers in now a new, a new era, a redemptive era in the black man consciousness. So Owell started out not with Bible or the supernatural. No, no. No, but no. with the cultural, with 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 an with with idea that this man, right. in the essence of the historical references yes. of, of of black people, yeah, is black going to king. free black people. Yes. No, no. What happened? That because most of the people them who rallied around yes. Marcus Garvey and Owil, they were Christian, so uh -huh. they had to validate I see Lassie in those terms through the terms of what they knew and what they understand because they couldn't do it outside of what they don't understand. Precisely. So they started to now search the Bible to, find, to connect yes. different terminologies and that would stick Psalms. Then them going to Revelation 5, Ethiopia the line Sartre, of Judah yes. and all these things now. And then now they say, aha! Yes. But this is the and, Jesus Christ and that and I was black told and comely. about. Ah. Yeah. So now it developed now into a biblical theology mm -hmm. that did not make any difference uh -huh. in the Christian concept. But, but it because is what it had done, what, what it was trying to do was to evolve Christianity from the two thousand years ago point, into Let's now. So what happened now is that the liberty of these men, of these women made a significant difference yes. from the biblical interpretation of the man who they now declare to be the messiah the return christ i know but what i'm saying is rastafari therefore evolved yes and it evolved into a religion which are into a, a, a philosophy or whatever yes. that used biblical concepts yes but you are now, in, in other words, no, what, I am what, saying, what no, you are saying, you, you go back to the problems. original law. No, I am saying that was one of the main problems, problems of Rastafari when they started to use the Bible to validate Eilis so Selassie. Because Eilis Selassie, the concept of Eilis Selassie is in 
the manifestation of the liberty of Rastafari mm -hmm. and not in the learned understanding of Rastafari in the Bible. We're talking in ways that people can't understand. All right. Oh, mean, average Rasta man. Me no, say. the average Rasta man we check. Yes. Learn, Recently learn. I interviewed some Rasta men. Yes. All of them say Selassie alive today. Yes. Yes. And in Maguan and King it, 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 It's not impossible. It's no. not impossible. No, but you. But do, the idea of Rastafari does not. No, I know, man. But you do not believe that when a person dies. The soul can continue beyond the body. All right. What I am saying to you, all right, listen to me now. And therefore, right, listen to me carefully. Because you may as be, far as we know, in we, Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Because we now go through this again, you know. Life cannot die. All right. Life does not belong to individuals. Okay. But individuals possess a life energy mm -hmm. that makes them different from, makes them individuals. Understand. It is like a building in a open land you put a building in a open land the space outside of the building and the space inside of the walls of the building is the same space but what differentiates the space is that wall if you move the wall the space don't go with the building the space still exists so i am saying to you that when you talk about debt mm -hmm. debt means that the building crumbles but there's nothing that is following the building. So the person will continue. There's, as no there's nothing exists. that is coming out of the, of, the, of the building. Yeah. The space still exists. Mm -hmm. So the space don't move, you know. So when a man says somebody dead mm -hmm. and therefore knows him life come out time, that is really an, that is oh, a yes. Western mindset that is telling you that there's something inside of you named mm -hmm. life that is coming outside of you. I'm saying that there's nothing inside of you so that is coming out. All of us know when we, we are uh, that's I, it. I, that's I, it. I, I. So I, when I, I, man, I, I and I, I and I, it's not so, relating to the man. I know. So yes. when I and I leave this earth, me no, I, I and I not leave no earth. No, no, no. I and I not leave I am no not earth. existing Le somewhere no, else. No, 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 wait, no man. You, you, you don't understand what I say. No, Listen to me. No, we talk simply. All right. You see, me talk me simply. So, you don't no, understand no, what me say. Me talk simply. You don't understand. No, 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 no. All right. Ian Bowen. Ian Bowen. If me dare to die, God forbid. If in if Ian Bowen dead, and you got my funeral, yeah, there and is nothing. Somewhere. Yeah, ah. There is nothing that is coming out of Ian Bowen right. that is existing somewhere. Ah, somewhere. So something. the life, right. life does not have an individualistic ah, personality. Right. I see your point. See? Yeah. So life clear, is the yeah. energy, is the source right. that binds everything together. Yeah. So in other words, no, you cannot come out of life I and then say you are still life. I see what. You're when you're dead, that's it. You're dead, but. The life that makes you yeah, understand what, what you is now is sense. continuous. So when a man tell you, I move, when you claim, say, yeah. well, I move to America, not believe in a life after death. I don't believe in a life after no death. You because, don't believe that, right? because oh. body, body yes. is the, is the, is the, is the, is the, yes. is the oh. connection that, that life makes with the material world. And I am saying to you that the material world is there. So this but, is all that we have. But life exists whether or not the material world is there or not mm -hmm. and that is what we call energy mm -hmm. that is why i don't use god yeah because you know why because man give god an intelligence i know and he even say e that's true i'm free to say it yeah because him character him giving characteristic to something that yeah. he don't understand so you know you don't believe in any supernatural no i don't believe in supernatural you don't believe in supernatural no natural everything is natural natural that is why rasta say tell. because i'm going above all natural to him say tell. So all what the rest of man say, what is good for nature? That Selassie a rule and king the character. You can't see him, but him in a spirit. You know why? Every man, every master man. No, 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 no. Don't say that. Oh, Don't say that. Okay. Not every rest of man say that. Never rest of man. There is a learned behavior in Rastafari, and there is an experienced behavior in Rastafari. Most of us learn the behavior through the Bible. Through Bible. Yes. So, you admit uh, that. so most of them are really learn the Bible. Uh, for instance, so the them, terminologies that Rasta use mostly yeah, is yeah. like Babylon and things. Yeah, him true. get it out of the Bible. Yeah, All right. But there is a group, there's a mind that is saying now the experience of Rasta is what differentiates Rasta from the rest of the world and Christianity. And this is found in the cultural behaviors of Rastafari, for cultural instance. Behavior. For instance, last. Idol food. Mm -hmm. Most youth, as in start to rest, they want to go live. 
him language start to change him start to say i i and yeah. i i this I and that yeah. all right so you have certain things for instance you have a, you have a rest of man who read the bible and he say the reason why i smoke herbs is because herbs did found from Solomon grave and all them things you have an next rest of man say you no smoke herbs like me you have hundreds of rest and you never smoke herbs yet no i never smoke herbs yet <laughs> And I know only for Rasta man who yeah, don't smoke yeah. herbs. As a matter of fact, I know Rasta man, if you go in, I'm out and go burn up him herbs. Him vex, him run out, I'll tell you, police. Or well, you want to come burn up him herbs and take six months to grow. And you come like your police to come burn it up. Yes, yeah. All right. So the herbs is a very important aspect of Rasta. I'm going to make who, a pick up on that. Yeah. The, 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 um, the break. Mutavaruka explaining his Rastafarian beliefs in his own terms. He doesn't need anybody. To explain no, what he believes. Bible. Any Bible, Bible and anybody Bible. doesn't need me to tell you <laughs> what he believes. He's here. And you know, I believe in fairness. I believe in hearing all sides. So I've brought Mutavaruka to tell his own story on Religious Hard Talk. That's the last he's got. Well, the ultimate that, you know, I still have to say the whole history, everything. So for you now, say His Majesty, I can't arrest you, yes, that's something else. No, I cannot be arrested for and I don't believe that Silla is a God. That, that they are not good. If you arrest you have to believe in that Silla Because of the, of, the, of, the, of the doctrine that, I mean, I am uphold the doctrine that Silla No, not to, to my knowledge. Um, Rastafarian, they believe that Silla is their God. But I believe that Jehovah, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, is my God. I don't believe in all of that. Yes, of course. It can be a Rastafarian by style, because that is what's going on now, just style. Yeah, Rastafar it depends, on, although real, the real true meaning of Rastafarianism is to say that Silasi is your ruler and your God. No, I'm not thinking so, because all Rastaman thinks that Silasi is God still, from ever since. So, man, sir, that's my opinion. No, you have to believe sir, Silasi is God if you want to be a Rastafarian. You see it, because of freedom culture that different from Christian culture. It's a message, so I have to believe in that. I think that all of them just kind of get this understanding that Silasi is like God, even whether, that, whether or not they believe, it's like, it's like a cliche then, it's like a saying. Them just automatically say it. I don't know if for real, all of them really believe that Silasi is God, but I think it's like a cliche, like a saying. So them just live up to the saying then. No, no, that's not be I mean, I think that, you know, it's only one God, you know, I like King Selassie as the first, and I can't be a second, and anything is, any second, and most after, you see it. It's not possible because, as far as I'm concerned, um, the, the Rastafarian belief is based solely on the fact that their God is Selassie. So, I don't think it's possible to be Rastafarian and not believe that Selassie is God. No, you have to believe that Selassie is God. Because, you know, you don't believe that like, Selassie is God, there's no Rasta. You understand, you have to believe Selassie is God. You understand, me believe Selassie is God. Come here, I'm an African soul. <laughs> Muta Baruka on Rastafari. Muta, you were yeah. saying at the beginning. Right, I'm going to explain something to you. A whole people will come through the understanding of Rasta through the Bible. We see Revelation, we see Psalms, and things. we start to read the Bible. So, in reading the Bible now, we start to use terminology that's related to the Bible. It don't change with life, you know. It just has to come with an idea you now that Isla Selassie is God. All right. So, in now examining ourselves now with this idea, we start to want to go in at the hills. We, want, we start to want to stop certain things. The Bible don't tell you if you do it, you know. It's just this understanding in a man, in an individual man now, that is allowing us to move from this normal christian idea into a, what they call a cultural perspective because christianity really don't have no culture it's just a belief system what rastafari has offered is not only a belief system but a cultural perspective that you can move away from the normal behavioral pattern and normal way of life from these people that is why rasta say it's not a religion it's a way of life because it is in the way of life that the essence of rasta is, in, is found it's not in the doctrine of the bible the way of life of Rasta is what is important to Rasta. Not the doctrine. It's not the doctrine of the so Bible. You, that, that is because why you can say, once you are maintained that way, that, that, that way of life, no, I can't question whether you are Rasta or not. You know why? That's why you, you know can't why? Because you is using... So you can't believe anything. You using the conventional Western philosophy oh, based upon your yeah. Christian understanding yeah. to say, oh, come But a lot of you when Rasta man, they might have yeah, but, as but, you say. Check the Rasta man, they must say it. I don't it. hear, sir, what they must say. I, they must say I it, I say no, check the Rasta man, they must say it. 
the Rastaman the Hussein in, is embedded in the Bible. But I have a book here overstanding Rastafari. I am saying to you, listen to what I say. The Rastaman them who is using this terminology yes. is embedded in the Bible. I am saying that there is a Rasta thought Outside that of I Bible. have lived it. You have lived it. I am not talking about what I have read. I have lived it. This Rasta thinking that tells you that we do into the Bible. We into the way of life. How can we develop a way of life? That what what makes Rasta different from other people? That's what we want. It's not the Bible that him read. It's because him did come and lax. It's because him did come and I eat idle food where everybody that say you got dead because you got marga down because you know eat salt and them thing there. But you know Rasta man come with a different way. In do man I eat idle food long before Rasta. But it's not a unique thing. But Rasta is not a unique thing. We're not saying it's a unique thing. The sad news. But we're not saying it's a unique thing. I am saying that the idea of Eilis Elasi has allowed some dispossessed people who was domiciled on this former slave plantation island to develop a theology that can carry them into a way of life that is not necessarily unique to them okay. but without that they would have never found it because the christian doctrine was not able to put that in place for them to understand how to eat to live or how to live and eat how to to, to, to you have adventists who are vegetarian uh, muta hmm? within Christianity. You have adventists who You're not who hearing are, what I'm saying, you know. You're not hearing no, what I'm no, saying. No, no, you said Christianity not allow them. And I'm saying that's not true. But Christianity not, you have adventists uh, we, no, who are idol. Yeah, listen. Okay. Which idol? Which yeah. idol? It's on the Rasta can idol. No, my man. Adventists <laughs> can. You have vegetarians and you have idols, you know. Boy. Listen to me now. You have vegetarian. Yeah. Vegetarian different from idol, you know. Yeah. Because a, veget you know, a vegetarian still eats certain things. No, man. There are we different types of vegetarian, man. No, listen, we no, listen to me. No. Total vegetarian, no. I eat no fish, man. Listen, we're not talking about no oh, fish. Oh, okay, okay. You have pre the thing, right. you have bush, man. Right. Listen to what I say, man. You have vegetarians. Vegetarians can eat certain food. You see, when a man, Russia say idol, he might talk about no process, nothing where synthetic nothing from that vegetarians can eat vegetarians eat chunk you know yeah. chunks chunks no idol you know what is chunks mm -hmm. tofu no idol yeah, man, yeah. tofu is a vegetarian food you know mm -hmm. and chunks is a vegetarian food but it is not an idol food mm -hmm. what i am telling you now that the rasta man developed yes, go on. a yeah. system mm -hmm. a cultural system both in eating habits and living habits that is different from the normal that's why when you say idol it don't necessarily mean vegetarian. That's why when I say Latin, it don't necessarily mean God. Because the man in the hills who is expounding about italivity, him don't ever use greater, him don't ever use metal. Me, I oh. refine that. I can't even use myself. Yes. It's years I have traveled this way and I don't eat flesh and I don't wear it. You don't wear it? Either. I don't wear flesh. I don't wear animal products for me, myself. You don't wear a belt? You don't no, wear I belt. don't wear animal products. products. I don't wear nothing that is made from animals. Oh. You understand? You have no Rasta man who see it on the level there. Yes. No, you have vegetarians who who live in the vegetarian, but still wear leather yes, shoes. Yes, I do. Yes. To me, that is a contradiction, you know. Ah, to my liberty. I see. To my liberty. You in it, it, the, the school of Rastafari that I come, come from, from, say that if you don't eat animal, you must, you must wear it. Wear it. Yes. Because it is ah. still killing. It is, you're supporting the killing of I the animal. See, if it is. That is a mindset that I have. For the, you follow. For, for the most of and my life. That's why life, you don't wear shoes. That's, no, not, that's why I don't wear shoes. I said that's why I don't wear leather. That's why I don't wear animal products. Because I don't I don't eat it. I don't wear it. Okay. All right. So that's that is an aspect of Rastafari that a lot of people don't know about. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that you have a whole heap of Rastafari that don't smoke herbs. Sure. Because a whole heap of people believe, say, every Rasta smoke herbs. That's why your eye looks on all yeah. them there. And when I tell them, say, I never smoke, I don't even know if roll a spliff. Never smoke herbs yet? Never. I don't know if roll a spliff. And that's not trying to show you. <laughs> Interesting. You have Rasta man who you can't tell him nothing about glass, metal, and them thing there. Him also make another glass. Him a whisk. Him wrap him. Him, him, him yes, also yes. whisk. Him wear. I'm against glass. Him, against him a great. Metal. That's why me I say no. You have ital. Yeah. Me use great. I have natural. Oh. You have ital. Mm -hmm. I have natural. Mm -hmm. It might sound like semantics, no, but to the liberty, yeah, so the know. liberty of Rastafari, what I tell you about now, which is not a learned thing out of yes, the Bible, yes, but it's yes. when you trod the trod, you start to develop these attributes. These attri and you are a man who lived in the, in the hills for years. I live there, you and live I there. see Rastaman who lived there before me, and I know Rastaman right now who still live there. Live there who years, still years. perpetuate them same kind of living today. Where you can't go and I'm out and tell him nothing about no God. 
I can't tell him, it's him say, still, no God. Him say, no, I'm not about no God. Him say, I listen to the I, I. When you say I, you say I, listen to the I. And that he might tell you about. Mm. He might talk about I, I, I. That where think the concept of I come from? I is not a, it's not a semantics, you know. I, all I is doing is responding to the life, the energy, the good energy that is in man. It is not responding to the man physical. It is responding to the man divine. So when I say I and I, and you say me and you, you is second person. In the, in the consciousness of Rastafari, there is no second person. That is why I say I. He say I and I. To the normal person, you can say I and I. Because he is responding to himself. When he say I and I, he say Ian Bowen and Muta Baruka is one. So when he look on I, little last year, him saying I, little last year, is I. That means say I, little last year, and him is one. There is no difference between I, little last year, and I in Rastafari. And the only way we're going to find that consciousness in Rastafari is through the liberty, not through the biblical perception. We're only praying our Father and please, John, I, little last year, the return so Messiah. I stay here with this concept about return Messiah and Rastafari. It's a, it's a ruling over in no, Zion and all. No, no, look here. You look don't here. You, you know why a Rasta man will come and tell you, say, Rasta will rule the world. Rule the world. And you know why? You don't believe it. Because it's a Bible doctrine. The Bible. Oh. You see, no, Ian Warren, examine it. Every Rasta man that you ever talk to, and him tell you these things. Yeah. Isn't it the same idea of the Bible in talking about? Yes, yes. Don't him read it's the Bible. It's a reading tradition of the Bible. And I am of telling course. you that there's a school of Rasta taught out there that uh -huh. does not believe, believe in world domination. What it believes in understanding nature, understanding him cause. Interesting perspective on Rastafari, setting the record straight and telling us that the common concepts that we have had of Rastafari do not take in what he believes is a significant element in Rastafari, an element that we have not heard about, that you are hearing about, many of you, for the first time on Religious Hard Talk. we we'll take our final break. What do you think Rastas believe about the Bible? Well, the Bible teaches every man everything, you know, good and evil, you know, in the Bible, you know. And every young Christian, right, you know, the best advice that we give them, read the Bible chapter a day. And to lead you in way you want, you know, whether good or evil, in way you want, the Bible will lead you. Rasta don't believe about the Bible, you know, unless I is for them Bible. And Rasta have for them Bible, so the Bible, where them say the white man print and write, Rasta don't believe in it. Them always blaspheme it. You understand? So the Rasta are for them Rasta Bible. The Bible is a part of them religion, man. Them use it as one of them main tools, just like what them use ganja as one of them tools. Because them use the Bible as a guiding step. I think they, 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 they use the scriptures um, for their convenience, but I don't think they really believe in Jesus Christ as being Savior. So it's, it's a sort of... That's a contrary thing because they, they have Celestia as their God, but yes, they use the scriptures to say, well, Jah, and as, as referring to him as their God. So it, it's contrary. I don't think they have it straight. Well, the Rasta have their own beliefs, you know. I mean, I think some things in the Bible, Rasta believes still, you know what I say, but I don't think I have a thing still, because they have for them own prophecies and everything. Some Rasta read Bible and some don't read Bible. And some, but I and I, I and I, I and I wouldn't burn the Bible. I and I have to read my Bible. You understand me, I hold a room said speed, you see it? So I couldn't burn the Bible. You see me, I have to just do, 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 do. <laughs> me have to just, me have to just, live you understand, live up. You see me, baby? Right live up and now, burn. Me just to live my life, you see it? An interesting and some would say novel interpretation of Rastafari being given to us by the well known Rastafarian Mutabaruka, well traveled. Um, Rastafarian dub poet. Right. So when you yeah, came into it's Rastafari... It's not an interpretation, you know. No, meaning... It's, it's a liberty. Many, yeah, but there are many Rastafarians who disagree with you. Disagree with, with your, what? That's a liberty? I'm not asking you to comment. Dermot um, Fagan, a whole room. When you look at, at, at no, Yassus' yeah, no, book, no, he lists no, all yeah. the different houses yeah, and mantles of Rastafari. Listen to me, no, but we're not no house now, you know. Listen to what I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. And they don't hold... Listen to what I'm saying, you know. Yes. I'm not talking about a belief, you know. Yeah. I'm talking about a liberty. I am saying that there is a belief and there is a liberty. And what separates Rastafari from the Christian world is not the reading of the Bible. It's the liberty of Rastafari that makes the difference. And the, 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 the but, liberty... But, but you must have a which, belief. Which theology? Wait, 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 you which must theology? have beliefs with it. I never said you have a belief. The belief in Eilish defines 
what that moves you to this liberty. Oh. It's not everybody. Wait, oh, it's, not, wait, it's not everybody who believe in. What's the essence? Lassie. What's the essence? If I would ask you, one what thing. is the essence of right of power? Right? Yeah. Yeah. No, what is it that you, you said to me? Oh, why Ian Boyin? If a man not have this in case of Marasta, if a man don't say Eilis Lassie, is what the nucleus? The nucleus of him exists. But what is it? What is Eilis Lassie? Eilis Lassie is I. I listen as I the recognition. But him not God, him not supernatural. But you asked me that already right, yeah, down the yeah, line. Yeah, 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 down the line. I try, you see, I try. So you now come back for rule the world. No, no I listen as yeah. We are talking about world domination here. We're ah. talking about finding self. We find you find yourself, you know. Then but you find yourself. Say, say, uh, well, you remember you I always, told you that like, the beginning. Yeah. Remember I tell you about the beginning? How it began yes. and what it evolved to. Yes. And I am telling you. Well, you're not following the evolution. That, no, listen. You're no, I am end. following the evolution. Listen to me. If I never follow the evolution, I wouldn't die at all. But it evolved in a Bible thing. But you're, but you're yeah, not following the Bible. Listen to me now. Rastafari is a response to colonialism and slavery. Yeah, yeah. Rastafari is a black power movement with a spiritual theological nucleus. But where is the theological? The, theo the theological. The theology is right. the yeah, yeah, theology. Yeah, but, no, you're, I am expert. Your thing no, is a cultural thing. No, you listen to me. No, listen to me now. Listen to me now. Listen to me. Yeah. You know why I use this? You're making a use terms now that you usually no, use. Right. You see? Because if I have to start to explain to you now within the context of you, like, like when I say to you, God, and I have to start explaining what God means. I am trying to tell you now that this the divine self. Yeah, I know. The energy of self, the recognition of this divine person. In I mm. is what is what Eilis Selassie represents. Muta, oh, you're, oh, in the you belief different? of Eilis Selassie, yeah. it is carrying I to I self. And in, how would that carry to yourself? Uh, I understand. But, but you're not going to understand it, you know, why? because you still have the, 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 the what you call the, the, the formal perception, the concepts that rule your understanding. It's very difficult. No, so how are you different from a Pan Africanist? Oh, why different? I was speaking to a Rasta. The Pan African is don't declare Eilis Lassie. But you're not the same God, you see? No, no. The, we are not, the uh, Pan Africanist does not declare Eilis Lassie as uh, a nucleus. Mm -hmm. That is what's differentiated. I, and what difference? I am a Pan Africanist, you know. No. As a Marcus Gavi, I. Yes. But I am differentiated yes. by the understanding in my liberty through the Selassie. recognition of Eilis Lassie. So what was so special about Selassie then? Nothing to have a special about Eilis Lassie. So why you choose him? The, uh, you, you will come in from the beginning uh, of the program. Yeah, yeah. The beginning of the program. We, that done, we tell you that already, you know, there is a response to slavery. Mm -hmm. It's a response. Where is the black man king? king. Where is the black man God? So, in a response to that. But he's not any king anymore. No, we, oh, he mean not any king anymore. A king is all a king. I mean not a king anymore. I don't understand where that. Where is his throne? Where is Silas' throne? A king, where is Jesus Christ's throne? Hmm? Don't Jesus Christ supposed to be the king when we're when when there? But the Christians say, I'm no, ruling everyone. No, the Christians say, I'm ruling everyone. Well, Eilis Lassie are ruling I. I, Eilis Lassie are ruling I. So, what are the difference now? What, what, what is the problem? But not Eilis Lassie, the individual. Yeah, you know, you can't have an individual and this and that already. I don't declare Eilis Lassie to you already, you know. As. How you interpret as Eilis Lassie is your problem. Mm. I am telling you, you know, supremely, it's Eilis Lassie eye to eye. I am not in the supernatural, I'm in the supreme. So, supreme being to I is different from a supernatural being. Mm -hmm. Supreme being means that it is above yes. the beings, what, what I see in this individual and glorifying this individual. Maybe you cannot see it in that individual. So, I recognize in this individual something that I need for myself. And through the historical references to Ethiopia as the most ancient of all countries and the beginning and the source of all human existence. And will Earth. that black king come to rescue us as black people? Is I have a rescue I myself in the oh. island of Lassie? Is I have a rescue myself? No man can see. No, see I. I see no, no man can see. I have to see myself. We'll see ourselves. Within the consciousness of Rastafari, right? That is why it leads us to this liberty. So we are no one. This, you is on your own. I don't know about you. I have to. I, within the context of Eilis Lassie, is saving myself and hoping to liberate black people out of the hands of white supremacy. That is what I talk about. I now talk about some man where I just take up 144,000 people over here so, <laughs> and burn up the whole of the people over here. So. No, I talk about the redemption of black people through an understanding of self, through the personality so, so of Eilis Lassie. A lot of Rastafarians, Muta, have been mistaken. By using this Bible no, as of, them guide. No, no. 
the evolution is important. You start here so, you end up there so. It's not a, it's not a misguided the thing, it's an evolution. The same man who say Ray Selassie. The Pick same. up the Bible. Then what are wrong with that? I used Worship to Jesus. Yes, yeah, so what happened to so that? So he was misguided. So you never used to look girl when you're young. But he, he misguided. Asked, you, you never, you didn't misguide when you No, it just had the experience at the time. You know, no misguiding, though. It's not the experience but Selassie, at the time. As Phil Pats point yeah. out in the book, Silas yeah. make a whole heap of statement about the Bible. Like so, what the Bible. To that? so what I'm to that? So what I'm to that? Then because you're a man who uses as the ideal. No. A man who uses as the ideal. When the man now come and pronounce right. from the Bible, make I explain to you. The you know what I start to say about you that? You take away yourself no, from that. No, I can't tell you what I say about that. A man's religion is his personal thing. So, a, a religious person must not run the state. Listen to me. Who is that man? Listen to me. No matter what I listen to say. You don't run the state with a religious person or a man of the army. So the state is run by the emperor. But religion is a man's personal concept. Yeah. So what I say in my religious affairs does not have to reflect what my father say. My father might find solace in oh. his understanding of life. But in Eilis Lassie, mm -hmm. I find a different understanding of life through Eilis Lassie. Because Eilis Lassie is not believing in Eilis Lassie. No, but if you are following him. No, you we are not, we are respect him for the Bible. No, we are, no, but I never tell you say I, I, I quote the Bible all the while. And I have no, to tell you the Bible is mean. not my point of reference for I was it was Silas's point of reference to Christ to what he believed in her. It was yeah to what he believed in her. He misguided her. No, no, I never said misguided. But I never said the rest of I never said the rest of man them who believe in the Bible misguided. You know. I am saying that there's an evolution in the understanding of Eilis Lassie. No, if Eilis Lassie believe in the Bible yeah. and believe in Christ. Yeah. So and he two, did. Yeah, and I know most not be, and I find something in Eilis Lassi that I see. Why is it important that I must believe in what Eilis Lassi believe in to understand what I because believe in Eilis Lassi? Was your, he was your, he was your, he was he your ideal black. man. Listen to what I say, no, listen to what I say, no, I say. He's a black kid. Hear what I say, no? If my mother is ideal and she's a soldier and she's a police yeah, and she it. attributes certain things. And I come and see in my mother certain attributes and I can draw from that. Why must I believe in what she believe in to come to an understanding of myself through she? It is not when, when Rasta come up here, he never know what I just like to believe in, you know. It is a response of an event that took place. The but event is the coronation of Eilis Lassie. Lassie, Lassie no lap, yeah. never so it's not a point of that, so if Eilis Lassie believe in that, I have to believe in that. Yeah. It's a point of what I found, what I can draw from my understanding of self through believing in Eilis Lassie. And I am believing in Eilis Lassie and it carrying me to relax. It carrying me to eat idle food. Eilis Lassie never come tell me must relax and eat idle food. But it's not the right vow in the Bible, say. But I know good lines are right, but that's the man who read back, he says, come back to the Bible again. I never eat idle food to the Bible. It's not because the Bible where I turn vegetarian, you know. It's not because the Bible where I lax. I know lax because I'm a Nazarene. If I was a Nazarene, I got up in the hills and not eat. I eat cucumber, melon, and all these things. Nazarene vow say, must eat these things. No gun, you know, dead body. I know, I know Nazarene. I is a Rastafari who lax because this is my response to understanding myself. Uta's final words. Defending his Rastafarian identity against naysayers like Ian Boyne. Setting the record straight and saying that he's no less authentic than men like Dermot, Fagan, Yasu Safari, and see, others. No, problem, I am yes. saying <laughs> these other people from various houses that claim they are right. Muta says he can burn the Bible and burn God and still maintain is Rastafarian liberty and really so like a lot of other Rastas out there I am not a, in, I am not a Rasta one. by myself ah, you have others. many Rastafari out there very, very important say. Yes. very important Muta Baruka clears the ear and really does our talk next week I'll be back until then Ian Boyne on behalf of my production assistant Tracy and Leng wishing you a pleasant evening Religious Heart Talk, brought to you by Digicel. Drive your dream with Digicel, you can win a brand new Benz. Put credit on your phone and call your friends and tell them, say. Heart Talk, brought to you by Digicel. Drive your dream with Digicel, you can win a brand new Benz. Put credit on your phone and call your friends and tell them, say.
Welcome to Religious Hard Talk. I'm Ian Boyne. Muta Maruka is back. The issues that we raised with him could not be exhausted in any one program, so he's back to explain his brand of Rastafari, which he feels is authentic. He believes that the versions of Rastafari to which most of us have been accustomed are versions which have not been true to the essence and the original intentions of Rastafari. I have accused Muta in the past of not being Rastafari, of denying the essential doctrines of Rastafari. And in fact, I have pointed out that he's an atheist. Well, Muta has decided to respond to all of these charges and to tell you what he is in his own words. There are a number of interesting issues concerning Rastafari, Christianity, the evolution of Rastafari, Rastafari as a belief system or a liberty which need to be explored and which we will continue to explore in our incisive way on religious hard talk today. Muta Baruka, yeah, I'm glad we have another reasoning. Of course. The issue that I raised of the essence of Rastafari, we are still grappling with that. You explain Rastafari Who as Who is a grappling with it? Who is we? I, for one, okay. am grappling. All right, so you grappling. Let me speak for myself. Yeah, yeah. I'm grappling with this yeah. issue. You do not see Rastafari as a set of doctrines. No. As a doctrinal creed. No. But as a liberty. Yes, a way of My life. My question, a way of people. life. All right, a way of life for people who recognize it, Ayla Selassie. So the, the, the context in which we're talking about the way of life mm -hmm. is represented. But recognize him as what? As people we, we know. Rasta yeah. say that he is God. You are saying he is not God. No, I am saying that it is he is the nucleus of my being, of understanding life. No, in recognizing not God, why I'm saying that we don't really. But you don't call you don't call Sassy God, though. No, the you reason why using that you, term. Know, you know why? Because whenever you, you say God, it conjures up certain, a certain idea. Yes, yes. And I'm trying so not to allow the people who's I listening know. to me yes. to come up with that idea mm -hmm. of this man. Mm -hmm. So I am saying I'm putting in Eilis Lassi in the context of being the the, the symbol of my way the ultimate man of right. life. Yes. So we say supreme as opposed to supernatural. Mm -hmm. See? So, the idea of Eilis Selassie coming from Leonard Owen, responding to an event. You're going back to the original. Yeah, because what, I, what, I, what, what I'm trying yes. to say, what I was saying last week was mm -hmm. this, that um, people always say, oh, you don't believe in our way Eilis Selassie believed in her. Yes, right. Um, was a but Christian. Eilis Selassie is a Christian. But you see, Rasta was not responding to a belief of what Eilis Selassie believed. He, they were responding so to original an event. Rastafari. Yes. It was responding to an event. The event was that this man, Rastafari, was crowned Emperor of Ethiopia. Yes. So they were responding to Marcus Garvey saying, Where is your God? Where is your kingdom? Yes. Where is your king? And Leonard Owil is responding to that, mm -hmm. recognizing the event, started to say, yes. This is him. Yes, yes. So no. Explained it. After, after recognizing this person the need to explain your position was necessary and the people who was drawn to rastafari mm -hmm. was in the christian mindset yes. so they use the validation of christianity to validate the rastafari understanding why am i saying Eilis Selassie? because he's the king of kings if the king of kings is in the bible it says that the king of kings is christ why am i saying Eilis Selassie, the Lion of Judah. Mm -hmm. The Lion of Judah is in Revelation 5. Mm -hmm. Why am I mm -hmm. saying Eilis Selassie, Ethiopia? Because it says Ethiopia shall stretch forth her hand yes. to God. So all of these validation was very important to the, individ the persons at the time to use, uh -huh. to validate it. So we have come to see that as inextricably attached to Rastafari. But you are saying it is not. It doesn't it, have to be. It, 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 don't, it, is, it was no. not in the no, no, it, it mind. Is, no. But it don't have to be. It doesn't have to in be. In other words, I don't have to use the Bible to ah. validate my understanding of why I say I listen to But you will agree, though, that your position is a minority position. The majority of but Rastafarians the, 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 have the, right. what you call the Christian mindset. The, 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 majority, the majority of Rastafarians. Yeah, the majority of Rastafari hold fast to the Bible. All right. 
because that is the experience that has been gathered mm -hmm. over the years from the elders. Mm -hmm. I am mm -hmm. saying to you now that what Rastafari intention, the Was intention of Rastafari is not to associate mm -hmm. biblical and Christianity with it, but to liberate what? the minds and the physical being of black people mm -hmm. out of a system that Leonard Owen called white, wicked system. Well, let me ask you this yes. natural question. If that is what Rastafari originally set out to do, yes. why would it have to be religious? It could no, be a secular what we don't see black religious. nationalism. No, no, no I don't no, want no, to get into semantics. No, no, not semantics. Listen, listen. Rastafari yeah, is recognized say, as a religion. You're going to get into semantics. Yeah, but, I, but I am telling you, say, you I don't you're like many Christians religion. who say they don't believe in religion. They no, believe in we, Jesus. No, we, no, no. We, Personal religion with Jesus. That, no, listen to me. Listen to me. I now tell you that's semantical gymnastics. No, it's not semantical gymnastics. Because don't you say Alice Lassie is not God? Yes, I know and, he's not right, God. And I am saying Alice Lassie is not God. Yes, we, we are agreeing right, on that. So I am saying, but I still recognize Alice Lassie. No, we no, I am saying to you now that if I am saying Alice Lassie as my being, as my symbol of recognition of myself, that don't make it a religion, that make it a no. acceptance. No, I agree accepted. that you are not religious, you know. Yes, yeah, so, in so fact, no, I'm saying you are no, atheist. If I am telling you that Rastafari is not religion, mm -hmm. it's a way of life. Mm -hmm. It's a way of life that recognizes its imperial majesty no, and the, the as the center of its existence. No. It is a way of life yes. that recognizes Emperor Eilis Lassi as the center of its existence. Okay. In other words, the when, I say, yeah, when I say Eilis Lassi, yes. it allows me to live a certain way oh. that is distinct from Christianity and other ways that Jamaican people know. Example, example. So there's nothing necessarily religious about that then? But I, but I tell you, it's not a religion. I told you that is not a religion. But for the vast majority, so you're saying no, the I classification saying of Rastafari I am saying to has you been that, a mistake? No, listen to me. I am saying to you that Rastafari is not a religion. Not a religion. Are you still telling me that Rastafari is not a religion? I am telling you that Rastafari is not a Will religion. Will you agree that for the majority of Rastafarians, yes. they see it as a super... They see something supernatural about Rastafari. A lot of Rastas see something natural, supernatural, supernatural about Rastafari. You admit that? Because, ah, because, right. so it is, because it is embedded in embedded the same in Christian mindset. Okay. If you are not embedded in so the So when the majority of Rastafarians hear Muta Baruka speak, yes. and that detach Rastafari from su any form of supernatural, yeah, yeah. they would regard that as heretical. Well, if you want to say it's heretic, it's heretic. If you want it, because they see Silasi as a supernatural being. as the black man's God. Yeah, but I am the saying black to you, man's supernatural yeah, but I am saying being. to you, no, no, no. Leonard Howell. No, Howell different. No, he's going to back to Howell. Yeah, but then we have to, to go back to Jesus. Then you go back to Jesus. Years, but you go to Jesus two years ago. You have to go back seventy years to Howell. But you have to go back two thousand years to Jesus. Because the present day Rastafarians no, going back are Jesus unlike you. Yeah, but I never said no. I never said no. No. But how much rather say I walk up and not be a fool? No, that, be, that is one yeah, of well, the Yeah, well, don't be a like this. So I am saying to you now that I listen lassie, because of saying I listen lassie, it allows you to be a, of a certain mindset. Yeah. So no. what is so special about I listen lassie? Special yeah, about what I listen lassie? So I'm telling you what is so special about I listen lassie. I listen lassie connects. He ran, yes. yes. No, I can tell you, I listen lassie connects the black people them. Uh -huh who was domiciled in this former slave plantation mm -hmm. to an history that was not taught to them, to a genes that they didn't understand, mm -hmm. and to a perspective of life that when they say it, it allows them to live out that. No, explain. What, what about right. Selassie? What I'm I just you ran Ethiopia in the ground. Ethiopia was one of the poorest countries in the world when yes. highly, um, when men get so highly a uh, Mariam overthrew him and, 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 and slew him. Something. God created the world and he can't control the man and we make fun the world. No, I'm not saying. But what yeah, what no, was no, exempt no, 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 we're not, But your question. He reduced no, your Ethiopia. Question, no, your question. Listen to, to, to me. God, abysmal poverty. God destroyed the whole planet with water. Didn't he do that? He persecuted innocent people. Yeah. God kill God is the biggest mass murderer. But so all you're saying is no, that no, what I am saying Silas, to you was no different no, from the Christian God. No, no, what I am saying to you, yes. what I am saying to you, that you must not use what you your perception of I of I listen last. First of all, the fact show. What no fact don't show that. All right. So what I'm talking about, God, is it a fact? That what? 
What are just no, but about all you would be no, proving no, by no, that no, no. No, what is I'm that Silasi no, was I never no better than the no, Christian no, God. I am, and doesn't help but your I cause. But I never agree with what you said about Isla Silasi, you know. I am asking if you agree with what I said about, about God. That God was genocidal. No, I know. I, listen, you say... I listen, take a break. Oh, you know this is going to be, you know, because it is so interesting. You know this is going to be another interesting one. Vota Baruka, he has four hours. On a, on, a, on a Wednesday night yeah. all by himself, but tonight yeah. he's challenged, and tonight he will not respond successfully to this challenge. That this is, is really just saying. hard say. talk. We take our first break. <laughs> really just hard talk. Brought to you by Digicel. Drive your dream with Digicel. You can win a brand new Benz. Put credit for your phone and call your friends and tell them, say... Welcome back to well-known Rastafarian, Muta Baruka Defense. Oh, you call me a Rastafarian, no? Well, uh, <laughs> that's always seen. That is always seen. We are here to demythologize him. Well-known Rastafarian, by reputation, Muta mm. Baruka yeah. Defense is unique brand of Rastafarianism on religious hard talk. All right, look here. So we're saying. No, wait, don't use those words right, about unique brand. All right, unusual like brand. All right. Brand. All right, listen to me about Isla. What was Silasi? special about Silas? Yeah, all right. I'm What's special? You. No, I am telling you. He was a black king. Excuse me. I'm a black telling emperor. You black why emperor. Rasta say Isla Silasi? Yes. Right? I, I told you why Isla Silasi, why Isla Silasi is important in the whole G genetic, heritage, um, culture, and understanding self through an African perspective. Well, why? You have any other African rulers? I'm saying no. why Silasi? Yeah, because. Other African rulers. Yeah, I am saying because Isla Silasi now. In terms of what Isla Selassie did for Ethiopia and the world. What he did? Wait, now listen to me. Did you know that Isla Selassie was recognized as the father of African unity? Iman Kwame Nkuma um, formed the OAU. The Organization of African Unity. Yes. Yeah. So Isla Selassie was recognized in Africa. as we played there. a more crucial role. No, no whether or not they played a crucial crucial role. Isla Selassie. Politically. Yeah. In, 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 yeah. in Ghana. In Ghana. Yeah. I am talking about Africa. No, I am not talking about Ghana, no, because uh, Isla Selassie um, Nkuma was the, the president of Ghana. I am talking about Africa as a state. Yo, Africa, yeah. you I am Africa, saying to you, you now yeah. that Isla Selassie is recognized as the father of African unity in Africa. Isla Selassie has been able, Isla I, I Selassie supported the, 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 the liberation struggle both with, 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 with in Zimbabwe, mm -hmm. in South Africa, Zimbabwe yeah, and South a, Africa. He was a good Pan-Africanist. Why, why, why are you saying no, what he did? What yeah, he was did? A good, you know, he was a good Pan-Africanist. No, 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 good pan no, no what I'm saying, but there are other Pan-Africanists. No, but I, why but, but I say no, but apart from being Pan-Africanist yes. and the father of African unity, yes. he has the history that I and I was searching for to link I and I, that missing link, that missing link of African history, in Ethiopia, that we couldn't recognize where is the lead African king. You mean because the lineage to Solomon? You're, you're no, not no, not Solomon. No, with oh, Solomon. So not like the, Solomon. Oh, Ethiopia older the regular than Solomon. Man now no, go back no, no, to, no. To Solomon majest, and take. No, but his majesty talk about his lineage to Ori. Uh -huh. You ever hear about Ori? His majesty say his dynasty his goes color. beyond Solomon to Ori, the first emperor of Ethiopia, who recognized this, this concept of God before there was any concept of God, this Ori. And okay. civilization went down the river night from Ethiopia. Yeah. All right. So I am saying to you now, this connection with Isla Selassie allowed the Rasta man to link what we never know in a person that all we come in history, we could show now oh. a man, a country, a, a, a continent. Yes. And it works of Isla Selassie speaks for itself. I don't, I don't believe you are talking about propaganda with Western civilization. Oh, propaganda. I am talking about what Isla yeah, Selassie has done for Africa okay. as a Pan-Africanist. Mm -hmm. And not only being a Pan-Africanist now, but being of a royal lineage that connects Africa okay. with history. And when you say royal lineage, you're not talking about Solomon. No, no I'm talking Solomon. about a lineage that is before, right, before, before you, Solomon. No, Ethiopia, 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 Ethiopia. the regular Rasta man, right, listen, about, to me, listen to me. Lineage, right, about listen Solomon. to me now. All right. Ethiopian history don't start with Solomon and Sheba. All right, very important. The history of Ethiopia. Tell them that. As you are tell that, tell Ethiopia them that. goes beyond yes, Solomon and Sheba because there was a yes. dynasty that was flourishing in Ethiopia even before Egypt built the pyramids. Because it is claimed that Egypt is a child of Ethiopia and civilization went down the River Nile. Mm -hmm. 
from Ethiopia. The beginning of the Nile comes from Uganda into Ethiopia and go right down to Sudan, go right down. So I am saying to you that that connection that we never have through Bible of teaching, the Bible never, the, 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 not the Bible, but the people who was bringing this Christianity was never ever tell you it's Egypt in Africa mm -hmm. because there's no geographical mm -hmm. geography yeah. in, in church. Yeah. What what Eilis Lassie, the, the understanding of Eilis Lassie has been able to do for Rasta yes. is to connect we, yes. the dispossessed here, with a civilization right, yes. that is so glorious yes. and perpetually continuity, the continuity of that thing. And it's so glorious that we can be proud now and look on our sister and say, Empress, and look on ourselves and say, We are king. I don't even more glorious than, 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 than Egypt. Of course, because it was a big, you see, Egypt is the child of Ethiopia. Now, if you go to Ethiopia, you don't go learn Ethiopian history. You learn Jewish history. Because what validates Ethiopia through the, it, Ethiopia is validated through the Solomonic Semit dynasty. And, Semitic line, yeah, yeah. and I am saying to you that there's a greater Ethiopia. Just like what I'm never telling you about Africa before Fushin. slavery. You see, we believe that our history started as slavery. Yes. Our history, the slavery, it disconnected it from history. Uh, yeah. Yes. So I am saying now that Ethiopian issue never start with the Makeda going to Salaman. Right. Very important. That is the, the Jewish connection. You agree though that a lot of the Rastaman is yeah, the but, 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 but I'm trying to show you that um, I can explain myself yes, yes. outside the Bible, of the Judaic understanding, understanding. Very important. Of, 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 of it. Outside. Because there is a greater and remember also remember point, also right. that mm -hmm. gods are made through the pharaohs, because even the pharaohs with a god recognize yes, it's recognized gods. because it is it, the elect of god meaning god represents the people and god elect the people yes. elect the leader yeah. and the leader now it becomes that god that 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 that's that right. understanding yes. so he's the supreme authority that is right in the context of egyptian and ancient african yes. understanding of kings and queens yes 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 that is what we are talking about yes well, well, well explained so what you are saying in effect muta is that this majority opinion that has come down to us the received opinion of rastafari yes has been really uh, grossly mistaken. No, I never said mistaken. I could have never said that. No, no, but the man who the Bible. No, yeah, but I can say that mistaken. No, no. They see it within the Christian mindset. No. Today, no. You see, you sound like, like, like me you now. You know where I don't know. That you sound like what you do with the bridge in the middle of the day. I can tell him to move to Baruch and Arasta. Listen to what I tell you now. Listen to what I tell you now. There's so many trees. There's so many leaves. But it's just one tree. Listen. But no illusion so, the man them no, drop not, on. When the man them drop on no, the Bible. No, no illusion and I fantasy draw, the man them drop on. You know, I draw, when, so I start, when I started out Rasta, that is my validation, you know. You start over that too? Of course. With Bible? Of course. And them being there? That is my validation, but I am saying to but you. But you grow to that now. Ah, but you I'm get saying, more in light now. But there is and you no, left back the man them in the darkness. No, 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 no. So no, why are you afraid of that? No, 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 no. I don't see no darkness. I see light and lesser light. So you have Isn't graduated. So no, I am I saying to you. In a lesser light. No, I am saying to you. I am saying to you that Rastafari is not written in stone. It's not like the Bible where tell you said this is that and this is that. It is an evolution in the liberty and the understanding. So the, the man, we, not the man in New York. It evolved beyond you, you know. You gone back to Bowie. No, 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 no. It evolved to no, 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 that no, no, figure no, no. that call no, but, himself but, Christian. But I used to say. I'm going to read the Bible. But I used to it say. It evolved but, beyond. But, but this is what I said. No, in the beginning, I was reading the Bible too. Yeah. So it not evolved beyond nothing. I was reading the Bible too, you know. No. I am saying to you that there is a man in New York will not explain Rastafari like a man in Westmoreland. Yeah, and a man in, in Germany will not explain Rastafari. So there is different ways of getting to the same sea. So many rivers, one sea. And I am saying to you, not because a man is using the Bible, he's wrong. I am saying to you that so there, there so must a man be a can use the Bible. Hold up. A man can use the Bible and come to an authentic understanding of Rastafari. Yeah, but then I'm showing you now that it's the way no, of man. life that is validating Rastafari. It's not the authenticity of his use in the Bible. But doesn't the Bible perpetuate certain myths? The Bible perpetuates myths, but I am saying so to how you... how can a man use the Bible and come to the but authentic... I am, but I am telling you that I, but I use the Bible also. But you were misled. You know, no, come no, to realize. No, 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 I never said I was when misled. You no, 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 I never right. said I was misled. When you use the Bible no, don't to worry see Silasi... No, I never said I was misled. No, but when you use the Miguel Bible... Miguel never said I was misled. No. Neither. Me, remember, Miguel no didn't say 20 said, years ago. 20 years ago, would I say? I would maybe would have said for 30 years ago. Yes. But no, I am not saying that. When I use the Bible, it's because of my experience in the given time. Yeah. 
that I use it. In this time, it's a given purpose. I don't use it. At the time, that is what I was given. That is what I use. No, a basic... So now, I don't use it. Just yeah. like how I used to cook. And when I cook, at a given time... No, either cook, thing is now. true or it is not true. But I it never said the Bible is not true. I am saying that I can don't, I don't use the Bible to validate my life. But I am saying... I never said the Bible is not true. Times. You, are, you said every, every no, week. No, no, no. I am saying... Is the Bible true? No. Listen to what is I said. Is the Bible I true? I said you can use the Bible. But yeah. I am not going to know hard and fast it on and say historically. If you use it as a historical reference point... But, but that's how the Rastas have used it. No, they have used to it to trace Silas's lineage no, you, to Solomon. Yeah, but and I am sure they both are lineage. To Solomon and yeah, all but them but that is not lie. No. Solomon, Isla Silasi is descended from Solomon and Sheba. No. That is not lie. But what, what, what you are saying. I am I saying that I am going beyond this. I can validate Isla Silasi not using Solomon and Sheba. Because Solomon and Sheba is not a reference point to me when I am talking about Isla Silasi. But if a man use Solomon and Sheba, it's not lie, Mattel. So when a man uses the Bible about Ethiopia straight forth and toward God, and but that, that, that is not lie, but that is lie, but that is lie. No. No, we are so that you like, saying? So it when, is in the Bible so that that was, the Bible, was, was that a prophecy? What prophecy of the man that? Selassie? It, I don't know. I don't know. If That's why right, you don't believe that. No, but I, no, I don't, don't know. I don't telling, believe in the Bible. No, but we, no, I am when saying. When the psalmist says yes. that Ethiopia shall straight for her and God. Was that a prophecy in reference to Haile Selassie? No. Ah. No. Precisely. But that don't mean that Ethiopia never straight for his hand. No, no. But yeah. when the Bible did say that, it not say that out of inspiration. No, no, no. It's a man but recognizing the, Ethiopia. But when, yes. when the traditional Rasta or when said that, that yes. he mean to say, he believes that God inspired that. Yeah, but I never said, but I just said, I never said ah, God inspired it. No, but I, I am telling you that, him, that when a say, man says, it's a yeah, myth. No, listen to me. It's a myth the Rasta man using. A whole heap of myths Rasta man use. The oh, idea of why you said it clearly. No, a lot of myths Rasta man use. Of course. Because I'm in the Christian thinking. And the Christian thinking itself is wrapped up in mythology. The Christian thinking mythology, of course, yes. that is the that problem. The no, but plainly, no. No. then if it's a, a, a myth, there is plainly. a lot of mythology because the Rasta man is using the same Christian idea to validate ah, him thinking. Him, him get caught mythology. in the same, like same trap, trap like the Christian yeah, man. But I am saying to you, ah, right. not because the Rasta man declare Isla Slate descended from Solomon and Sheba and in the Bible is a lie. I know. So I'm not saying that Isla Slash never come from Solomon and Sheba, that's a historical reference yeah. that can be validated. But to tell me that a snake talking to a woman, and I must say that that is true, and to tell me that I come from three people, Amshem and Jaffe, mm -hmm. I would have to go use my, my intelligence and understanding now to see how I can recognize that in reality rather than just being faith. Because faith is not something that you can question. But when you use your faith to validate history, then I'd have to start to question it. So if the Rasta man is using something where the Christian use to validate his understanding of Eilis Lassie yeah. and it is embedded in just faith, then him have a problem. Rasta have a and problem. The the majority Rasta Farai Rasta Farai is going to have a problem if they keep using the Christian doctrine to validate Emperor Haile Selassie as what them say is the Almighty. Strong because food. there is something outside Strong of the food. Bible and Christianity that is more ancient in its order yes. than using the Bible to, 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 to validate it. The Rastafari concept and idea is before the Bible. And bigger than the Bible. It is before, before the, Bible. the Bible. Because this is not a unit. For instance, in India, Buddhism was 500 years before Precisely, Christianity. Of course. Hinduism 500 years before. before yeah. And I, am, I can tell you that there are similarities. Between the two of them? The, no, yeah, there are more similarities between the liberty of Rastafari with these, in in these, Eastern, these Eastern, Eastern consciousness Eastern than Christianity. But what is wrong? We, we, we were trapped in this Western world yeah. using the Christian doctrine to validate we, not recognizing that there is somewhere along the line that Rastafari is expressing something so ancient and so of the order of his ancient Africanness that if he would go into the depths of him being and liberty of him understanding, he would recognize it. But as if him keep using the Bible, him going to sit down and talk first to our Father who art in heaven. And like what Marcus Garvey say, black people sit down and pray too much. This is vintage, hard talk, Muta Baruka, at his most passionate. Being clear, because I'm pressing him to be clear, not to 
No, 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 but you know, that's what you yeah, Precisely. Yeah, Fourth four right there. I know you are getting out something. The you know, definitive you know, Muta Baruka interview. You better get these two tapes last week and this week and get them as a, as a set. Call the TVJ um, program department. You have to have this tape. You want to understand Rastafari or this uh, celebrity Rastafarian. We take another break on Religious Hard Talk. Well-known Rastafarian. I'm forced to describe him as such because that is how he's, he's seen. Right. Well-known Rastafarian, uh, Muta Baruka. Known all over the world, but one of the most traveled um, Rastafarian, probably one of the most traveled Jamaicans in uh, all. A, a Rastafarian artist of, of excellence and an international recognition. Muta, at the break, you were talking about this, you know, black man going into himself and uh, a, a linking with this sort of ancient uh, yes, ancestral ancient ancestral consciousness but, yeah. but but when you look and the at us, eat look at our root yes. we have always been people as black people who believe in the continuation of life yes. beyond the body if you go to almost ancient beliefs yes. we have never been yes. naturalists disconnected we have it. never been materialists the europeans come up with this idea of philosophical naturalism. You, European well, uh, not man. Your idea is closer to, to the white Europeans, yes. to the Anglo-Saxons. Yeah, well, if you say you so, are, you are expressing a classic atheism, Euro-American American, atheism. Yes, yes. You sound more like Dawkins, yes. Christopher I'm Hitchens, Sam mean. Harris, yes. William Rowe, mm -hmm. all of these leading atheists. Can Our people, well, uh, from Africa. We believe in the spirits. We believe that yes. the spirits survive the mm. body. We believe we yes. can be in connection with the ancestors. Okay. So when you come with a Rastafari and live it, yes. and I tell man, say, yes. when him dead, that is the end of him, yeah, and him now come I back, and, make and, they program, yeah, man, and they won't yeah. be no African kingdom. When yeah, you come make with them before the kingdom, heretical the white man, yeah. white man, atheistic yeah. doctrine yeah. Yeah. that yeah. you are pushing under the guise of Rastafari. Very like the journalists, I know he is But now. go on. All right. Answer that. All right, you hear me say no. We always are spiritual. I said that to you last week, you know. Man dead, life continue. Life you can't kill Can you life. contact the ancestors? Wait there. Listen to me, I said, no, no, man. I am my African ancestor beliefs. and my aunt. Listen to me, no. I am my ancestor and my ancestor is me. No, if no, so we believe it. No, oh, you mean that's no, no, where so I get ancestors. it from? Where I get it from? No, it's no, no, no. Where I get it from? The ancients believe. Listen to me. Listen to like me. Like the shaman. Excuse me. That them can contact. Listen to what I say now. Yeah, listen to what great, I say. Great, 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 great. I am now contacting my great, great ancestor because I am him. <laughs> I, I am my great ancestor. I use some man. No, no, no. Fuse. See, now, let me explain now. And I'll make the program done. No, man, we have yeah. time. We're going to explain. Right. When I say I am my ancestor and my mm. ancestor is me, it words means upon there words. is a connection between the past and the present. And what is, was, and what was, is. No. You see, life, we don't stop, man. You, know, stop you see, life, there's no, there's no death in life. Yeah, sickly, there's only you. death in people. And I am saying to you now, Wait now. Africans don't accept no death in no people. But right? I am an African and I accept it. You know what no. I mean? I'm an African. Yeah, but your view is your view is heretical. But you're not er heretical to who? You're not connected to, who? to the to who are if you heretical to? To African traditional religion. No, but you can't tell me. But I, am, but I am not talking about African tradition, religion, traditional religion here. I'm not talking about. I'm talking about experience of a people that is domiciled in farmers, the plantation island known as Jamaica. No, but we're not talking about ancient African tradition. We're not talking about what we domiciled now. I am not talking about ancient African traditions. I am talking about the tradition that I and I as Rasta develop in a in a, the West in a place that has been in a, the West the colonial West the, I know develop things in the West the, Islis, the idea of Islis Lassie which is not it never come from the East is that where it come from it's a reaction so I am reacting now to what you say yeah, now right. life continues death is something that you and me feel mm -hmm. you're dead there is no there is no life that is leaving your body Africans always believe that, brethren. Yeah, I well challenge you. you know, Bring in you any don't, African don't have to challenge me. I know that. comparative religion no, professor to, to settle no. this debate. Not, you're, but, but I'm not debating what African you're saying. Oh, oh. I'm not debating. You never hear okay. me say. I am, say, I am reacting to 
leaving Africa and developing a character. But you leave your heritage, you leave religious heritage no, no, and accept no, no, the white man no, no. Darwin's view. But I don't about, read about his life. You know, read it, but you're influenced by him. Oh, oh, influenced by him. I don't know Darwin influenced more than the same man come from monkey. I don't believe the man come from monkey. Influenced by No, but wait there. The only thing I know about Darwin is that Darwin said man. Atheism. You know, listen to me, I say. The only thing I know about Darwin is that Darwin said man come from monkey, and I don't accept it. But I don't, but you know about it, I don't know about it. So what I am telling you, no, but no, I don't know about it. I don't know about Darwin theory. What, what I am saying to you now is what I know coming yeah. from my experience here. So yeah. no. whether it, if, if related to what white people think, I do, it don't concern me. Uh, I don't believe the white people thinking. White people, like yeah, that. but there's a lot of things that, there's a lot of thing that you think and I think. That is still white people thinking. Even the concept of Jesus is white people thinking that's an idol. No, but you, you claim but you're not explain, You don't want to explain the thing. We explain it. Because if it's similar, it don't mean the same. All right, good point. Yes. So if to because I, good, I'm good drawing philosophy. similarities, it don't yes. mean the same. Yeah, so hear what I say now. I don't believe that if Muta dead, there is something coming out of Muta yeah, right. that is allowing Muta to live again. Good point. You're very life you're very life is of no characteristic. Life is one. The man manifests this life and is given a certain character. When this man dead, there's no coming back of that man. No coming back. No, the life force that is generated by making this man live is what continue, and it do have a character. So the only thing I live for now is us where where I get up every day and I do. You I mean, why I live? That's all your life is about. The, the way, when I live for when I'm dead for? You live for when you're dead? No, man. I say, your life. My life is about no. Just about, just a no. That's all you live for. Then me know where, the just way no. I live for. You know something? So you have no hope. You have, you have no hope. My hope. If you go you know, inside and drop heart attack, that's, a, that's saying a Muta Baruka. Yes. That's a kind of hopeless night nihilism. <laughs> What is, who's Neil? Who's Neil? Who's Neil? Nietzsche, the idea of, of, of men like white men, right. like, yeah. like, like, what, like Nietzsche all right. you and Albert Camus and these all right. white I, You say all those people that you're talking about. You don't hear about them, but you you're very much influenced by them. No, I don't know them. You're I never read about them. Listen to me now. Hear yeah, what me I say now. Listen yeah. to me I say now. Can you see? That's what me I say now. You know. And then you take up the argument with your argument. I don't get to say what I say. And then it come like we do have no... No, man, you have to talk a lot, man. Listen to what me I say now. Yes. You see the life, what we are dealing with now, Life is not this is named. You don't name life. You name people and things. Life go beyond people and things. I am saying to you now that Ian Bowen do have a life. That is Ian Bowen's life. Mm. Ian Bowen's life belongs to the cosmos. So when Ian Bowen dead, there is no Ian Bowen life come back. that is existed. Ian Bowen only exists in the living no. that remember Ian Bowen. So what caused Ian Bowen to live? Yeah. What what caused Ian Bowen to live forever is the work or the non-work yeah, that he yeah. does in that. his life, and it continue Same in thing. the minds of the living. But there is no Ian Bowen. Classic atheism. Well, yes. I don't business what you want to yeah, say. But classic atheism. It's similar, but maybe not the same. No, classic All right. atheism. All right, give thanks. Yeah, At man. least that means I'm up there. I can go write a book. Yeah, but man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Well, I must make it translated for white me. White man come with it. I must make you write it for me. Yeah, yeah. White As a man, man who write things. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. you hear me? I said, oh, you hear me? I said, oh. This is the program, guys. All right, oh. We're into the break. No, no. No, because I'm going to call your mind mess up when you meet a man like me. All right. When you meet a man like me, and you can't deal with that. It's program. It's, it's program. I'm going to answer me tomorrow it's night and cut it. No, no, I, 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 I give him, I give him I, listeners. I give no, him man, listeners. Program, I'm man. one of his faithful listeners. Program, We're going to be back and you're going to hear Muta Baruka. We're going to give him all the I time. No, when we come back, time, religious hard talk, taking our final break. <laughs> We know we didn't have to admonish you not to change the <laughs> dial. We know you can't move away from us, Muta Baruka and yes. Ian Boyne. We can't I be boring. I know your, your intention. You know. You're me asking now, Ian Boyne. Yeah. You must R bring, bring me a Rasta man, Rasta man have lots. But R lots is not unique to Rasta, you know. Because you have the Sadhus. Yeah, the yeah. Sadhus there. Yes. So true because me and the Sadhu have lots. Yes. It's similar, yeah, but I not the same. Yeah. No, you're talking about all these intellectual people yeah, who yeah. me sound like I'm here for analysis. We don't know where you're talking about. You're not following our ancestors. Oh, you mean not following our ancestors? You're thinking alien. You're talking alien. You're thinking alien to what? Alien to what? Alien to what? Our ancestors are here. You're talking about how much, much, much African you know is vegetarian? Eh? How much African you know is vegetarian? I, I've never done Most that. Most Africans yeah. eat meat. Yeah. So we have to say, though, I move from my Africanness when we turn vegetarian and rabble. You're pushing Rastafari as a connection 
with our ancient brotherhood. Ethiopia, That's what we are Ethiopia, putting Ethiopia, down, brethren. Ethiopia, yes, yes, yes. So, may I say to you, say, oh, yeah, push this ancient yes. Um, yes. origins of Rastafari and the connectedness. Yeah, and we don't, and when it, we and we go don't wrong, do supernatural things. Precisely. No, because that is not the essence of... You see, we think no, about no, that. No, 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 no. That is not the we essence of Africa. We are a supernatural African essence of African no, belief system. You see, you see it now. All right, go on, again. answer yeah, answer up, again. Oh, you have to go back to that. Listen to what I'm saying. The essence of our African belief you know, system. Listen to what I'm saying. It's supernatural. Listen to what I'm saying. The essence of our African being is thwarted by a people that is domiciled in this farmer slave plantation island. I am saying to you that what we develop because of this farmer slave plantation island and the persecution and the damnation that we go through as black people, we have been able to develop an African worldview that is almost unique to our present day understanding. Retrogress. Not, what, what you call retrogress? You call it developed. But you break away from no, the ancient no. African people. But I am saying to you. Supernatural. Who break away from people? Who break away? It's not I break away. It's them break away from me. It's not I break away. It's them break away. That means you submit to the colonial no, masters no, no, game. No, no, no. But you them, are bring, them bring us no, to the West. Ian, and you, you are telling about the them now. people there. You imbibe the no, ideas of the white Europeans. No, you are telling me, say I imbibe it, but me I don't say. know about them. It's you are telling me about them, and I don't know about them. Come on. You know, you hear what I'm saying? No. It's you are telling me about them. Yeah, I yeah. don't know about them, you know. So if my way of life seems similar, it don't mean to the same mindset. If a man come in your house and you kill him, because I'm going to try to kill you. No. And you stand up a man, and you stand up on the road and kill a man. Just deliberately no, because we are not waiting. The not. white man them influence you far more than you think. Not, I, that yeah. me assure you, white as a man, man who study philosophy, white man me assure you, say the white man. But them I never influence read them. More. But he are going and never was reading them. Brethren, the man them control not. Hollywood. The man them control the, the, the whole Western cultural so stream. So we spot them show me about Eilis Lassie. We spot them show me about Eilis Lassie. No, you no. We are them. We are them show me about Eilis Lassie. Never show me about that. Then oh, I come to this Eilis Lassie. No, because I am moving away from the African tradition. You still have some degree of independence. I am moving away from African tradition. But it's not total. No. The, the, oh, cult, it's not the cultural, cultural domination is it's not, not total. total. It's not it total. allows you so some the, little space. So, oh, so the mindset now, yeah. so the mindset that tell me that Eilis Lassie is not white. Yeah. But because I am thinking that you say similar to white is a white mindset. No, what I say is you escape a little bit, you know. Oh. And you see the Silasi oh, part. Oh, I see where I say. Oh, but forget the Lassie fullness. Part. Forget part. the fullness, which is the spirituality, which the majority yeah. of Rasta man them have. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Through the white influence. Yeah. Men like Emmanuel Kant, David Hume, but why you Hobbes, all those people yes, these philosophers, yeah, man, but coming I never down. Do, I, all them white influence men are down, I never read them, Fried. I don't know them. Marx. Oh, you know, I never read Marx. No, yet. you don't read them. So how oh, are you be influenced read, by them? No, you If I don't know about them, I don't. Some of the men, no, you read influenced you by them. Say, no, you hear me say? I arrest her. You know, read was meant to I arrest her before I start going to Pampleen, you know. No. I arrest her before I start going to Pampleen, you know. But I arrest her before I leave a king's son, you know. But you used to do the Bible, eh? Yeah, one but time. I sent to you. But it's not in a key. It's not. You used to do the Bible one yeah, time, you know. Yeah, but you know, long me stop reading the Bible. I mean, stop dealing with the Bible. Well, I stop From me live a country in a bush. Yeah. Me not read the Bible. And everybody were used to them amongst me. Are we? As I, as I once I was. We not read no Bible. And we are the thing through. The nature and the natural all of things. It's not my the people them who you are telling me, me I read. The man they were me used to them never read them. Some of them can't even read. So how come me and them man there who can't even read? But your views have changed a lot. Man. No, changing we changing you from the Bible. Yes. I am saying to you that I never I from my arrest I never said Jesus Christ yet, you know. You never said that. No, I never said supernatural being. You say my God though. Yeah, but I never said I mean, supernatural. You say yeah, but I never say him was a supernatural being. Yeah, man, I know. Because you know. I know. And why I stop say God? It's because I recognize that when I used to say God, and misunderstand it's misunderstanding. It. Mm. But I, from I as a Rasta, in the perception of I as a Lassie, I never see him as this Jesus Christ with dead and come back. It's not so I see it. And you have the man them who I come grow up with, never did see it that way at all. And the man they don't know, the man they don't have travel like me, the man they don't even know which part of the airport there. So when you so saw a nab in there, man used so, to read Bible. Yeah, so how come, how come my views? And these man who you don't know, who's a minority, have those views. And the man them where you are mentioned to me, mm. I never hear about them yet. The man they don't even know about them. So we have to mention now. It's move we are moved from the African president. I tell you why is it that way? Why the similarity is? The similarity is is because here is a people that is defining themselves in a colonial past and a, col a new colonial presence that is organizing and developing a spirituality that is void of European understanding. 
and it is coming now through the liberty of I and I. And through this liberty, I and I develop a certain way of reasoning about the liberty. And if it is similar to where white people say, according to you, I can't help that. But it's not leading me to Europe. Because people also say that I'm a racist and I don't like white people. So if I am if I am not, if I am totally as according to you, if you will say to that why I'm always eating out at European and white people so, and my thinking is similar to them. And I am dealing with Marcus Garvey to the core pan Africanist. Africa for African, those at home, not those abroad. That is the genius is the, the similarity. of European cultural imperialism. Okay. It is so, so subtle. It is, that it catch me. It is so subtle. And, and then all of my life. Even when we think we have escaped. Yes. We have not escaped. And so all of my life now is centered no, around Africa, but no. it's still European. I said European look here, difference. Look here. Let, look at you something. Muta Baroka don't have no clothes. We are made in Europe. Are made in America. No Italian tie. No, li no Italian shoes. Italian shoes. And like yes, not like that. Yeah. Muta Baroka is a person who walk up and down barefoot. You understand? For 30 odd years. But drive a European car. Drive a European car because what we can <laughs> escape, we escape. And yes. I am saying to you yes. now, yes. tell me, yes. tell me now, if that is the mark of a person mindset in the European tradition. No man, I don't. Why am I mindset. not traveling to Europe? which I can and I do continuously, and go into a store in Paris and buy a European tie like you, yeah. or a, a coat tie, but instead go into the deepest part of Africa yeah. and come out with some bead, some bead and some all these things. I don't Tell question me. your Pan-Africanism. Yeah. So, pan if, so if, if, if this is Pan-Africanism, yeah, you're pan -Africanism. so why am you I on the... influence so in some ways. In some, all of his yeah. influences, but I am telling you what, what I am saying now, similarity don't mean same. True. How does your view differ from the 80s? I don't know about the 80s view. What is the 80s view? The 80s that believes in that there that is, is in no a, super God. that's right. I cannot, How is your view different from I, them? I, 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 I have been the past. I accuse Lassie. you of being yes. 80s. You know why? Take an exception. The difference. How your view? Yeah, how you The different? difference that I am recognizing Emperor Eilis Selassie the first as yeah. the center. Yeah, but not different. I'm not, you, you, you could be an 80s and say that. Show me an 80s. You. Show me <laughs> you. <laughs> yes, you, you, you are the eighties who believe that. You can't connect me with me. You that are is the eighties. You are the eighties who believe that. But it is beautiful if you connect me with me, because that is the purpose of me. I mean, that, that is the purpose of me to connect myself. You. So I am saying to you now. So say that Silas doesn't. No, because you don't see Silas as, Hello. as a supernatural. Hello. Show Silas me. Silas is just the embodiment Ian of Africanness Ian and African show me. glory. Show me. Show me a eighties that recognize Emperor Eilis the Last the first. As as the center of his being, the essence of his being. Show me. A him. person could have a part from no, you. I said, show me. Him. I don't show know. Only you have to know. But if you don't know, don't debate on it. No, but what if I'm you saying don't is, know, don't debate on it. Silas I am is no to you. supernatural being to you. Yeah, he no. is just a representation of Africanness. No, he's a representation, a representation of I of in my glory. In your glory. In my, yes. yes but then what, what is he looking for? Nothing so. What is he looking for? What is he looking for but your glory? To be happy and joyous in your life. In this life, you yes. know, that's all your, that there is. Your connection with people, place, and things is the most important and most relevant thing for human existence. Mm. Or you relate to people. But the idea of Selassie ruling and over Island. Zion. You know, dealing with Zion. You know, Zion. You know, Zion. You know, Zion. 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 No, Zion. Zion is just another uh, term for heaven. Uh, yeah, and I am uh, not, and I'm not uh, substituting Jesus for Jesus. I'm not substituting Zion for heaven. The earth so see that we ain't we rule when Rasta man go rule the world. You don't believe in anything there. But I would say that last week, you know. They don't believe in the rule. Rastafari is not about world domination. It is about self recognition, self understanding. That is what it is all about. Final words to Muta Baruka. We have chatted on many occasions, but on these two last occasions, we have had the most illuminating discussion. This is a twin, a set of DVDs well, so like that you must already. have. You know, so I'm like not getting any TVG, I don't give any money out of these, no, out of these things. You but if you want... Your cameraman say, if you want... Your cameraman <laughs> say, you have to share the program with me. All because right. Because you don't want to That's share the That's for the, the managers. That is, that the that is for the managers. You know, talking about my TV Babylonian, talking Babylonian about money. Talking about <laughs> Next week, I'm going to be back. We're dealing with independence. Well, we see what independence really is. Next week, we're going to be back. This is really just hard talk. Religious Heart Talk.
brought to you by Digicel. Drive your dream with Digicel. You can win a brand new Benz. Put credit on your phone and call your friends and tell them, say, 